Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video you will learn how to set up a countdown funnel in ClickFunnels 2.0 to create urgency for your event or promotion. As you may know, urgency is a proven and effective marketing technique, so now you have an additional tool to utilize it on your funnels and emails. The setup of the countdown funnel in ClickFunnels 2.0 consists of multiple steps and we will do them one by one. Before we get to that, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find the link to a free trial in the description of this video. You will also receive our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus to help you to shorten the learning curve with this platform. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will find an offer that will help you to save on your subscription. Now let's start creating our countdown funnel. You can find countdown funnels in the marketing section and in the countdown funnel section itself we have countdown timers and events. The first step that we need to take is to create a countdown event. Click add new countdown event, give your event a name, select the type that you would like to use. The events in ClickFunnels 2.0 can be one time, recurring or hybrid. Select the starting time by clicking on this icon. Make sure that the right time zone is selected and then select the starting date. Then click create countdown event. Next we're going to create a countdown timer. It's this section here. The difference between the countdown event and a timer is that the countdown timer only serves to create an appearance, how our countdown will look, for the timer that we use in this event. Click Create Countdown Timer. Select any template that you like by clicking Choose. Change the name if you want. And click Create Countdown Timer. In addition to that, you can use the settings here to adjust the look of the timer further. A bit later in the video, we also are going to use this embed code for the timer that we have just created to embed it into our emails. All right, the next step to create the countdown funnel would be to attach the countdown event that they have just created to a funnel step. This way, the users will be able to register to the event through the funnel step where we will attach this event. Just go to the funnel where you would like to attach the countdown event and select the right step. Click on the menu icon on the step where you would like to attach the event. Click Manage Events. Select the calendar event. A user can be registered for an event using a simple page view event or you can require an opt-in form submission on this funnel step. Let's select the opt-in form submission, so we also get the email of this person who registers for the event. And if you want, you can also paste the URL where the users will be redirected once the countdown is over. Click Attach. This icon indicates that we have attached a calendar event to our final step, but you can also notice an error here. When you click on this icon, you see the tip that shows you what needs to be done in order to eliminate this error. And you can see that our step has a calendar event attached to it, but no way to display this event. And we need to change that by adding a countdown to this final step. Click Edit to open the page editor. Click Add new element, search for a countdown. And in the countdown settings, we can select the calendar event type. Please keep in mind that at the moment of recording this video, according to the Help Center of ClickFunnels 2.0, the event timer is still in development. That means that the settings that you see here may change when you watch this video and when the development is complete. There may be some additional settings and also that the timer unfortunately may not work properly yet. But you will need to select the calendar event type and I assume adjust some settings that will be added here. After that, save the changes that we have just made on this page. So let's briefly sum it up. By now we have created a countdown event. We also selected the appearance of the countdown timer in the countdown timer section here. We also attached this event to the funnel step and added the countdown element on the funnel step itself. As you can see, there is no error here anymore. And the next logical step is probably to send some follow-up emails or do some actions with the contacts, with the users, 
who are registering for this event on this funnel step. And we can do that all with the help of a workflow. So that would be the next step of creating our countdown funnel. Create a workflow. You can find the workflows also in the marketing section, same as the countdowns. And if you haven't created any workflows yet, you can watch the video that you will see in the card up here that explains in detail how to do that. Click Add New Workflow. Give your workflow a name and also select the type of the workflow. Click Create Workflow. Every workflow starts with a trigger. So what action happens that initiates this workflow? And in our case, it's the registration to the calendar event that we have created. Click on this section to set a trigger. Click Add a trigger. In the event type field, we need to select calendar event, contact registered. Then we need to select a funnel where we have attached our event. It was a new funnel for me. And also select a page where I attached the event. And last but not least, we select the calendar event. And I will not allow anonymous contacts. Click Create Trigger. Toggle the switch on to activate the trigger and click Close. The next step of our countdown funnel setup is to add an email to our workflow and we also want to have a countdown timer in the email. Select Send Email. By the way, you can also add a delay based on the calendar event that we have created, but for now we need to create an email. I will just select a simple template. I set up a name for the email and also created a subject line and selected from which address this email will be sent. After that, click Create. Click on this icon to start editing the email template. I will not edit the content of the email because that's not the purpose of the video. What I want to show you here is how to add a countdown timer to your email. For that, we need an HTML element you can just drag and drop it into the content area here. And then we go to the countdown timer section, open the settings of the timer that we have created and copy this code for the timer by clicking on this icon. We go back to the email editor, click on this HTML element that we added. You can just select and delete the code that's here and paste the code that you copied from the countdown timer. And with that, the timer appeared in the content area of our email. Don't worry if it doesn't count to the time of the event that you set up. We will test everything and it usually doesn't show the right time here in the email editor. After that, click Publish. Now what's left to do is to test the whole countdown funnel setup. A few things to keep in mind here. The recipient of the email must be registered for the event to see the timer. And the email with the embed code must be live, meaning we cannot just send a test from here to make sure that our timer is working, because in this case we won't see any active timer. I'm not sure if it's the right approach that only the users who are registered for the event can see the countdown timer in the email. I expected that it would be possible to insert a timer in any email broadcast. Let's say I want to promote an event in my emails and add some scarcity with the help of the countdown timer. So I would send my emails to people who are not registered to the event yet. But the way ClickFunnels implemented it at the moment, I cannot do that because only the registered contacts can see the countdown. With that in mind, to test our setup, I need to first register to the event that I created. And after that, I will be added to the workflow and will receive an email with the countdown timer. That's the ideal case scenario. Now let's see if everything is working properly. And also make sure that you activate the workflow. To register for the event, I just need to open the page where we attach the event. You may notice that the timer that we have added to the step is actually working and counting to the event, although a few times when I was previewing the page, the timer was not working. To register for the event, I just need to enter my email address and submit the form. And we can easily check if my registration worked if we go to the countdown events and then click on this registration icon. I see my contact here, which means that the registration for the event is working properly. So now theoretically, my contact should be added to the workflow that we created and I also should receive an email with the countdown timer. 
let's check that. I have the email in my inbox and as you can see the timer is working properly and it also counts to the event that we create. With that we can confirm that our countdown funnel setup is working properly and we did all the steps correctly. If this ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below this video and enable notifications to not miss out on the future videos. See you in the other videos. Bye-bye!